Hello everybody, this is Kurt. I'm with Monster Transmissions. We're going to go over some basic installation of a torque converter. A common misconception is installing a converter and you've just rotated a couple of times to the right and you believe you have it installed all the way. So I'm going to go over the, pr the correct process on installing a torque converter. Now this is the Monster Converter that we just got in. I'm going to show you, this is what it looks like right out of the box. I'll show you removing it all the components that are involved in the converter and how to install it on the transmission of the properly. Alright, here we go. This is a converter. They do come in different colors. Some of them are green, some are black. This is a converter. This converter here happens to be close to a factory stall rate. So it's a full size converter. If you notice on the front, it has a hub protector, protects the converter hub during uh, transit. Uh, the proper installation is, you would first add a quart of transmission fluid. We use Schaefer's fluid. The fluid we recommend to use it is a full synthetic and is compatible with any mineral and synthetic fluid on the market. And it will withstand a much higher temperature than any other synthetic fluid on the market. What you would do is you add one to one and a half quarts of this fluid into the converter prior to installation on the transmission. This will lubricate the clutch that's inside and make it easier to install and less pump drag when you first install the converter on the transmission. Now I'm going to dissect this converter up and show you how it fits onto a transmission and then we'll go into installation. Here's a performance converter that has been cut open so we can see the dynamics and the engineering behind a stall converter. First you have the lid and the hub. Then you have the stator. And then you have the turbine with the lockup circuit and the clutch mechanism. This is the turbine and this is the, the lockup clutch in this converter. Okay? And how this works is when you install converter onto the transmission. The transmission has an input shaft and a pump stator as well as pump gears. And the way that works is this is a, uh, a drum with a pump stator and the pump gears. When you install this into the transmission, the input shaft is the first component that, gets, that goes, into the trans goes into the torque converter. So as you install the converter onto the input shaft, or the front input shaft of the transmission, it will slide down this shaft and engage into this component. And this hub here is to engage or seal up your lockup clutch, seal up that oil circuit. If you notice on the end of the input shaft, there is a sealing ring. And this sealing ring is what seals into the end of this hub to apply lockup. If this ring gets chafed or cut, then you will not have lockup after installing the transmission. So be careful to grease and lubricate this on the front of the transmission prior to installing the torque converter. Once you hear the first clunk of the converter going into the transmission, that's actually not this component. The first clunk noise you hear during installation is this stator going on to the pump stator of the transmission, which is a set second set of splines on the transmission, this component here. So this is the first part that goes in the converter. This is the first clunk that you will hear when you install. The second clunk that you will hear as you spin the converter, rotating it clockwise into the transmission, the second clunk is actually this hub, this hub mechanism. This is what goes into the pump gears of the transmission. This is what the pump gear looks like outside the pump assembly. If you notice, there's two tabs, two tabs that need to index itself or line up with the two slots on the front of the torque converter. These are the two hubs. Now once these teeth line up properly, once these teeth line up properly into the hub, that is how they're supposed to fit. This is your second clunk that you hear when you install a converter. If you do not hear that second clunk or you're not sure it's in all the way, one way of checking is that 
the, you should not be able to fit your hand between the front of the converter and the front of the transmission. We'll demonstrate that in a minute. So on the higher stall, smaller converter, you can probably still get your hand in, but this is the primary failure during installation is that this hub is not installed or indexed with the pump gear. Okay, if it is on top of the pump, pump gear, then it will obviously damage or destroy this rotor mechanism and end up to the vehicle not moving at all. You'll lose all forward and reverse gear. So if you install a transmission you, and it's not moving after just installing it and, it's, and you show it full of oil, this is usually where the failure is. I'll show you what can happen when, with the uh, converter is not properly installed. This is a pump out of a transmission that came back and this is the pump gears that are broken. Okay, And you can see by examining the, the gears themselves closely on how the whole inside edge of that hub is chewed away because it was not indexed into the component properly. Instead of sliding into the slot here, it was actually resting on top of the pump. It was turning the gear, rotating it, but it was also chewing the metal up until it broke. And that can occur, the gear can break upon immediate installation of the transmission or as much as a thousand miles later until finally that part gets chewed down enough or fatigued enough to actually shatter the pump gears. And again, that's 90% of uh, failures of installation is related to the pump gears or the converter improperly installed. Now, if you have more questions for Monster Transmission, you can give us a call or a toll-free number at 1-800-708-0087. Thank you.